I am back from vacation. If you guys missed it last week, I had a packing video stating that I was going to be spending an entire week in Florida. My brother's girlfriend, Neva, and I went to Madeira Beach for an entire week. My brothers went to Colorado, went skiing. Jay and a friend went to Texas and they went disc golfing and hiking. And then Neva and I decided we're getting out of the cold. We are going to Florida where it ended up being cold, but we still had a great time. We were in Madeira the whole time, like sleeping wise, but we went everywhere from Clearwater to St. Petersburg, Tampa, Naples, the Everglades. We were just kind of all over the board. Without further ado, enjoy the video. Our adventure started out with a trip to the airport. With a quick stop through security, a round of motion sickness, pretty views, a nap, and some aggressive turbulence, we landed safely in Florida. What are you throwing up in your mouth? Are you nauseous? <sighs> Why are you holding your breath? I'm getting rid of my hiccups. Oh, I thought you farted. That's fine. <laughs> what? After Nave's little breathing scare, we officially traded in negative temperatures for much warmer weather. We're at the grocery store. All the goods. Watermelon. We're at a Winn Dixie, and we've never been at a Winn Dixie before, so we know where nothing is. <laughs> We've made it to our little home. It is this the cutest, cozy little place. Over here is the kitchen. That's the bathroom, but Nave's in there showering. And then we did pick up some groceries for lunches and breakfasts for the week. Little kitchen. And then the living room is connected right here. Over here, we got a TV and then our bed. Nave, I wet the bed last night. You did not. <laughs> this is what waking up in Florida looks like. In Iowa, we see a sunset. In Florida, you see someone getting pulled over at 8 a.m. It's a beautiful, very cold morning here in Florida. Yes, it is. We are regretting not having winter coats at this point. Literally. But it's gonna be okay. Our morning started off by spending some time in John's Pass, where we saw some pet skunks. You look cold. Oh, I'm so cold. <laughs> There's no joke that it is freezing here. Nave has two sweaters on. We're Three. working on two pairs of okay. pants. I have these on and I have pants on underneath, a sweatshirt and now a jacket. I look like a freaking minion. You look like an egg. <laughs> but I don't care how cold it is. If you are going on a vacation to the beach, then you are going to the beach. On this episode of Some Good Stuff, we're gonna find some good stuff on the beach. Our night ended with a karaoke session from Nave. Sunshine, rainbows, and rain. Dinner and cookies and Uno flip in bed. We quickly realized that we were going to want to have a car for the week. So first thing after breakfast, we went and picked up a rental. I'm officially an adult. I rented my first car ever. Neva's not old enough to drive without us paying a fee, so I'm stuck driving for the week, but that's okay. We finally can get around and tour Florida. This is a sunscreen station. We packed our own lunch today so we could eat snacks out and about. Since our Airbnb has a like refrigerator and an oven and that kind of thing, we eat breakfast at home. The plan is to pack lunches and then we eat snacks through the day and go out to eat. So it's worked out really well and actually saves a lot of money. Safety first. We're going on our first Segway tour. And here we are in beautiful, sunny downtown St. Petersburg, Florida. We are beginning a two, two and a half hour Segway tour. We are going to touch up on some history. At this point, you may use this open parking lot area kind of as a Segway playground. Do your figure eights, donuts, wheelies, slaloms. So here we have footage of the mayor of St. Pete practicing his Tai Chi. Very good, Mr. Mayor. The 
audience can't be contained. They're going wild. They're rioting in the streets. They're burning down the building. We're in a $700 a night hotel. And I wore my best outfit. <laughs> Segway tour was a literal hit. I told Neva, I don't know if I've ever done something more fun in my entire life. <laughs> oh yes, I'm so looking forward to this. We are on a night LED illuminated kayak ride. Neva's back there, I'm up here. We got glass floors and we have fish food. The day prior, Nave set off the fire alarm in the Airbnb, so I had to make sure it didn't happen again. But on this day, it rained the entire day. So we embraced the weather and did a little shopping, but we were back to enjoying all that Florida had to offer the next day. You guys might be wondering, what are Summer and Nava up to today? We're going skydiving. How nervous are you on a scale of one to 10? 500. <laughs> I'm a little nervous too. We're ready for the skydiving. <laughs> look at our little suits, we look so cute. next day was going to be a long one. So we decided no better time than on vacation to get a massage. I wasn't kidding when I said we had a long day ahead of us. We were up by 4.45 a.m. and we're on the road by 5.45 to head four hours south. We have two days left of vacation. Today we drove farther down south because it is much warmer. And Neva found us a Craig cat tour. And then later we went to the Everglades, but it is definitely a good 10 to 15 degrees warmer here than what we were feeling back where we were staying before. And I've literally worn the same two outfits all week long. We're driving a motorized boat. <laughs> a little motorized boat. But we're gonna take on the, the Florida, is this a lake? <laughs> Florida lakes? I don't know if we're in the, no at the Gulf. Those, I, I don't know, I don't know where, we're, where we're, at. we're at. We're just in a body of water. We're in Naples. We're in Naples. Are you nervous? I'm only nervous about the waves. Like, that's it. I'm only nervous about the waves, too, but that's only because we almost tipped over there for a second back there. We didn't almost tip. We but didn't it felt, know what to expect. But it felt like we, were, we could have easily tipped. We got this figured out. Summer's a great driver, and I trust you with my life on this Craig Cat. Our tour guide may have forgot to tell us what to do if a big boat passes us in the canal, sending us in a situation where we were dealing with some big waves and had no idea what to do. We eventually did find out that we were in the Thousand Islands and it was breathtaking. so beautiful there it is oh my gosh it's so pretty this little Craig cat was the highlight of my trip it was fun to have the Sun in our face and the wind in our hair these little guys can go up to 30 miles per hour and we kept referring to them as the golf carts of the sea I feel like this is a weird sign for a bathroom to have we're not in Iowa anymore next up was an airboat tour in the Everglades we saw a random company promoting airboat rides on our drive in and decided to check it out. Are you dizzy? 
No. <laughs> uh, I, I was really when it worried first started, for you. I was like, oh no, because you mentioned it and then I thought about it. Oh no. And then I was like, no, I'm fine. I'm I need fine. to learn to quit doing that to you. It has opened its mouth. I think he said they do that for the temperature. I'm a map wizard. Dora? <laughs> Mama knows. I'm the map. Wait, here's my map. Here's my map. Look at that. Live in nature. <laughs> a crocodile hunter would be proud. What are you doing? Why are we, why are you being dumb? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh, I'm just kidding. Get in here. Look at that Go. gator. The last day of vacation, we kind of spent it doing whatever we wanted to do before we returned our car rental. But is it really a vacation with a friend if you don't do something crazy? I decided I was well overdue for an ear piercing and thought this would be the perfect time to get one. Went on vacation, lived a little, got an ear piercing. There it is, it's the top one. It hurt when the needle went in, but I highly recommend getting a needle over a piercing gun any day. Day. It was quick, it was down in less than a minute. That little name got queasy watching me. <laughs> I hated that for you, Summer. I was so nervous for you, my heart was racing for Summer, and I legit got kind of queasy, and I don't do that. Like, I, I'm a pretty strong girl. But I got queasy when that needle was sticking out of her ear. I was just like, what? This is how I, I was just like, <laughs> so I couldn't do that there. Anyway. I got near for a single vacation. <laughs> Our trip was a blast. My advice for you is to take the trip. Say yes, do the thing. Get out of your comfort zone and enjoy your life because you are only given one chance here on earth to live it.